So we're playing dialect in a game called Where We Belong today. The premise of it is, um, it's while you guys are trapped beneath the bubble, like right after the bubble goes up is basically when we're going to start the first age of this game. So, and, um, dialect is a very fun, like, card game, board game, tabletop game, mixture, where we are, um, deciding how the crew talks. Like, like, obviously they speak, like, air quotes common, but we're trying to, like, make up words for them. And I specifically want people who wanted people who've played before so that we can have those words tied to things that you guys have done in the past. They don't have to be, like, not every single thing needs to be something that was said in another game, but it's just nods to that kind of thing would be appreciated. And as we go, we'll see how that works out. Um, so we have Pim, who is played by Carrie. That's me. It's me. And we Here. have Zachna, who's played by Ray. Yo. And it's been too long since I pronounced the name, and I don't want to say Melanie, and I know it's not Melanie, played by Malo Sparkly. Malone. <laughs> there we go. Hi. Malone. And then we have Laura, who is played by Esme. Hello. And in this game, I'm going to play the citizens of the Silver Thimble. Like, I do not have a single character. I am everybody else that is not part of the crew. So, I will explain how this game works as we go, because it's a very easy game to learn. I'll give Nika a second to, like, adjust, like... So... That's fine. The stuff on the side is going to be moved into the middle anyway, so... Um... So the way the dialect works is we are building words off of prompts that you'll get with cards and then we will play those prompts on aspects that we believe form our society. Now I already thought about doing, I was going to do it before you guys showed up, but I figured I'd ask just to be polite. Or if you guys have better ideas, by all means, let me know. So the three aspects, the three key components I think of the way that the silver thimble and like this city communicates and the crew communicate with each other the three aspects i think are um going to the academy to get and the academy the city and the vehicles so that means if you get a word if you get a card that says tell me a word that means friendship and you want that to be based on friendship built up in the academies then you play that on that like um like classmate or like that kind of thing if that's how you refer to like a tight group of friends like a class then you would play it on the academy if that makes sense mm -hmm. yep. and like if it's um a mistake that happens if you have a card that says like what do you say when you make a mistake and you want that to be part of the vehicles and like going out and having adventures like what do you say when you make a mistake or when somebody makes a mistake out there that is and then the silver thimble is obvious what do you say in the city i think i think as we go it'll make more sense but as long as we're fine with the three aspects of our language being the academy the city and um the vehicles because like if you guys want to do something on the fish tanger industries then that could just be part of the city if, if, you, if that makes sense to everybody okay yeah does it matter that pim never went to the academy it does only be in the sense that you wouldn't have the same kind of words maybe you would have like what kind of words would pim make up about the academy or like are there a group of people who didn't go to the academy that say things in a different way? Okay, okay, okay. Give me one second. I'll deal out. Um, 
I'll deal out you guys as like um roll cards and I'm gonna need you to go real loose on what these are because they will be things like magician and stuff like that. Don't worry about that so much at like the words on it as on the here, let me we'll deal these out for everybody. And while you're doing that, I will be right back and I hate to do this, but my body has decided I must go. I'll be quick, I promise. Okay. I'm going to... There are voice cards. Each of you will get three... Oop, did I deal one to myself? I did I deal one to myself instead of carry? I did. Huh. I don't want to do that, but I'm going to have to recall every all of them from everybody's hands. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. Don't worry. Because I dealt them to the wrong people. <laughs> Carry that should work. None of those are me. This game worked so well the first time, and now it's just not working out for me at all. Oh no! What's going on with it? I'm trying to deal like cards to people, and it's just like, no, nope, there's no cards in this book. And I'm like, uh, and the deck is like, I know that they Damn. are. Don't lie to me. I'm well aware. Esme's got him. I'll just do it one at a time and maybe it'll work. Barclay's got him. Okay, I'm, I'm actually seeing them appear in you guys' like, hands now. And go ahead and look at these. And the main thing I want you to look at is at the bottom, it will say um, the conditions. Like, you identify with one aspect... And, but you resent another, or you like you identify with two aspects, but you resent a third, the third. Hmm. It's like I'm telling you right now, the citizen, like my, the class I am playing, identifies with the silver thimble. At the end of the game, I will um distrust one of the three that is how the um how it's going to work for me so for the archetype deck do we just like pick one or do we have to have aspects just pick of one. Or... okay just pick one that you like and like you don't really have to worry too hard about the like the wooding on the top Oh, you can just you can just say what it is. That's fine too. Yeah, I was I was gonna go with protector. Well, yeah, like I said, don't worry too much about the top of it. The top, like you're not you are not playing the protector because that that would be for a normal game of dialogue. That is just yeah, that is. Uh... So, here's the card for like the artist. I'm gonna put in the middle so that um everybody can see it on stream. Mm -hmm. So. You guys, I mean, we're not worrying about the top. It's really just the um, bottom of them, and like, really just the red. Like the artist card actually does work, and if you can make it work, by all means, go ahead and like make that make sense. But bend it however you want, because we are not traditionally playing this game. Mm -hmm.
and the oh my god i am so dumb here so the aspects are the the city the, the city the vehicles and the, vehicle the academy and... okay so those are the aspects yep oh so if it says that you don't trust one or like that you are like afraid of one like i know afraid of ones on one of them And then once everybody has those picked out, I will recall all of the cards, and then... So do I just, like, drag the one I want somewhere or something? Yeah, you can just drag it right onto the, um, right onto the map, and then I can shrink it down. Okay. Right, I'm deleting the artist one, so who's Scrounger? That would be me. Okay. So you identify with two aspects, and one of the aspects is causing the scarcity. So, yeah, all right. Shrink it. I, I think if you double click the nope, that does not work. But you're a scrounger. I'm gonna put that by your name. Who is the oracle? I am. Okay, identify with two aspects. One of them will be our ruin. Excellent. Let me put this next to your name. Uh, who's the sage? It's gotta be that'd be me. Yeah, I was like, I think Asmi's still away. No, mm -hmm. I, well, I came back right as you're like, all right, I'm getting rid of, gonna get rid of the artist. I'm like, oh, I like that. Oh, the <laughs> artist is a good one. Um, Nika played the artist in our game of dialect the first time. So Sage, you identify with two aspects. One of them is the source of knowledge. Does make sense. Oop. But anyway, yeah, I gotta look at. It. Oh no, not Lord. That is Pim. There's Pim. Where did I put Pim? Did I put Pim way up here? Oh, I put Academy on this twice. I meant to do. So you got one picked out, Lore? Briefly stuck between two. So and you, know, you really don't have to worry too too much about the stuff at the top. It's really the two things at the bottom and the things at the bottom that we're worried about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so explorer, you identify with all aspects. You know the. Okay, yeah. There's one with undiscovered potential? Okay. So which one has the undiscovered potential? And this is basically for everybody. Like, um, if it says you trust to, but you don't like... Oh, actually, let's just go around. I'm going to start with you, Carrie, like, Pam. Uh, you identify with two aspects, and one of them is your source of knowledge. What are the two that you identify with? The vehicles in the city. Vehicles and city. And which one's the source of knowledge? The vehicles. Okay. Excellent. I'm taking notes because that's this game. Shrink that back down. And Sparkly, your is the yours is the oracles. You identify with two aspects, and one of them will be our ruin. One of the aspects will be our ruin. Sparkly died. Alan, oh, no. sorry, sorry, I'm muted to the microphone in a meeting. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with uh. Vehicles in the Academy? Are the two that you identify with? Okay. Yeah. Is the city going to be our ruin? I think so. Okay. And... 
City will be our ruin. Good news, everybody. We're starting strong. <laughs> like, we can only go up from here. Yeah. Or can we? Like, Alright, so we got Zachna. Zachna picked the scrounger. Uh, you identify with two aspects. One of the aspects is causing the scarcity. I'm and going... to be fair, we, um, we, the scarcity we have right now <sighs> is food and space. I'm going to go with the city and the academy. The city and the academy are the two ones that you identify with? That is correct. Okay. And which aspect is causing the scarcity? Unfortunately, the academy. <laughs> okay. You guys are just eating too much. Okay. This is why there isn't a secret coffee stash hidden anywhere in Fish Tinger. <laughs> Absolutely not. Nope. Nope, not at all. City are your identifiable ones, and Academy is causing a scarcity. All right. And then last we have, let me shrink this one back down. And last we have Lore, who is playing whoop, the Explorer. You identify with all aspects. You know there's unpotential in uh, there's undiscovered potential in one of them. And that one is the citizens, because well, look at all the shit they've survived and they're still here. Okay. Even all if right. they don't think they can do much yet. Excellent. So yeah. And now let me just We call all the ones that are in you guys' hands so that those don't clog up your hands. And now we are dealing out the story things. We are going to go one by one around the table. Um, when was the last time all of you used a dictionary? <laughs> oh, God. It's what the internet is for. Um, when I was like 12. Like, you mean uh, looking up a word in a dictionary and or on a dictionary website or just like physically opening a physical dictionary? Physically opening a dictionary. Oh, it's been a hot minute. Many, Same many here. years ago. I'm, I think honestly on this one, I probably did it most recently then. I was going to say, I'm about to do math right now. <laughs> so how old am I? Alright, so we'll start with the citizens and then we will go around the table clockwise. So it'll be me, then it'll be Sparkly, then it'll be Zachna, then it'll be Lore, then it'll be Pim. And I'm giving you guys all your cards now. There they are. Go ahead and look at them. So, um... Like some cards will say action. Um, you can play the action cards at any time on your turn is when you play like a language card. I will do it right now. I have a card called the past and I'm going to drag it right to the middle so everybody in the stream can see it too. It's like the past card says how we refer to um, what's come before, how it shaped us, this may be specific time period or the past as a general concept. I think, like, the people of the Silver Thimble know a little bit about, um, like, everything that's gone on. Like, you guys aren't exactly, like, a secret society. And you have built giant libraries and there's huge fucking trees everywhere. So I think in like, this is just like, the real world uses this word, but I think the silver thimble really leans into the word roots as a way of talking about the past. Like, but when they say roots, they don't just mean like 
some figurative family tree. They legitimately mean roots. And then so the way that turns go is you play your card, you come up with its meaning, and then we have a conversation. So I think, Pim, as you're walking through the silver symbol, like taking in, the shields have just gone up and you guys aren't sure how powerful they are. Um, you start to see groups of people like refugees from all over the world that had just ma managed to make it to the silver thimble right before these shields went up. And you see groups of some of the otter people, but not a lot of them. And you see some of the owls that had just happened to make it uh, from Parliament. And they're here too. And they're, they're really sticking with their groups. And like, as you're walking past investigating the shields and noticing, thinking, definitely thinking to yourself, there's nowhere near enough space for all of these people. Like you hear them murmuring and someone like looking at each other, like sus not suspiciously, but a, a little tentatively. And many of them are, like, talking to themselves and saying how they have to stick to their roots. And throughout the, like, these couple of weeks' time, you are going to begin noticing districts being formed. Very, like, large cities where, like, like your little Italy, your Chinatown, stuff like that. I think that's going to start happening. And those are my roots for the word. I know so how we are gonna use the word past. The citizens are. Like they won't refer they won't say like history, they'll say roots. Okay. And that's how the turn goes. So on your turn, you will pick a card, play it on a location, and I'll play it on an aspect, and then we go from there. If um, at the end of an age, uh, you will always go back up to three cards. So, like, if you will, we'll each play one per age, though. And if you want to get rid of your cards, you can't. Like, if you don't like the words that you have, and you want new ones, you can discard a card to draw a new one. But you have to come up with a slang version of the one of the words that are already on the on the board. To do that. It's a very easy oh. game, though, I promise, guys. Oh. That was hard. Okay. I'm looking at yeah. the cards. I've been staring at them. I'm like, whoa. Uh, it's oh, gonna be you. Sparkly's up next. Okay. Uh, so I think I'm gonna play resource sure okay let me put it in the, uh, yeah Nico Nico will move them to the middle yeah, yeah. I'll it from now on. cool uh so can I ask a question about the academy absolutely are there big like green spaces like you would at any university there are definitely parks I would say but um yeah yeah okay so I feel like uh I had an idea, and then it just, like, left my head for, like, a word. But I feel like one of the things to help out with resources, since we're, since we're cut off from the world, from the rest of the world, would be, like, to convert those, to be part of the the effort to turn those parks into actual, like, places to grow food and whatnot for the city. Just to, get, to get resources for. Sure, oh, yeah. um, what would we, yeah, what do we call that? What do we call those, like communal like farms mm -hmm. what's the word that we're going for that's the <sighs> the only thing I can think of right now is plots just everyone has their own communal plot which is literally what that is <laughs> park plots yeah <sighs> so um plots as a resource yeah. Okay. Um, 
So you've chosen a card, and you have, um... And, like, as you've played that on the Academy. And now it's just, have a conversation. Now, this can be, like, you explaining how the word um, comes up, or you can literally have a conversation between two characters, or more characters. Okay. You just gotta make sure you use the... It's kind of like, just use the word in a sentence, is the, how it works. Yeah, I feel like uh, with uh, working with the citizens mainly, uh, that's how Mil Milone will, will like start start talking to them. So it's all like, so okay, we I guess we need to figure out what different, because you know, different species, different what, different diets. I guess like everyone should have their own specific plots, I guess? And this is her talking to like s some of the citizens. As they're planning. Like, what What can we grow here, though? Asks, like, this, like, black and white cat that's definitely from Pastora. Oh. It's just like, what, and, like, what if, what are we going to cook it when we grow it? It, I mean, it all takes place in different biomes, but we should be able to at least grow things that, that do well in most common areas. Anything specific you guys like? See, we can try. It's just a unanimous chant of bread. Not chant, but just like everybody responds bread. Okay, wheat's easy, but uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get different varieties so we don't have issues later. Yeah. So we'll have our own individual plots and make sure we have plenty for for people to be able to get what they need. Um, like, you see... I'm going to, um, I have made a note about your word plot. I'm going to discard this, um, action. Yeah, I'm going to discard this action thing. Um, it's going to, it's a creative word. Don't worry about that, guys. It's gone now. I have discarded it. Because I am going to add, when a group of four, like, people from Pastora buy a pl all plots next to each other, they call them pastures. Okay. Okay. Like, it like the the roots thing is coming up even more. Like they are segregating themselves on purpose. Like the people from pastures are like now owning, are picking up like prime wheat growing places. Land made into resources called plots. Called plots and pastorans make pastures. Alright, so next up is you, Zachna. Oh, yeah. Which aspect are we playing that on? The city. The city? Okay. And what do the city... How does the city refer to work? Because we have to work to survive. No, that that's absolute. Um, But what's the word for it? It's just... Sorry, thinking up words on the fly has not been my strong suit. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a hundred percent this game. Yeah. <laughs> you can like um you can rework a word that already is used, like um and like is this like this is the work that The work we must do and the toil it takes. Like, is it... 
So is it going to be like a um a slang word for like it's like got to go do the nine to five situation? Like what? Like is it a schedule situation? Is it a fun? Is it a word for the slang that you have to do? Well, I was originally going to have Zach and have bring up an old term from his time in the Mist Knights. The, the, my only problem with that is that is like a Zachna exclusive thing. Like we like yeah. we've never seen that. Like we don't know about that. So this is like, and would that catch on? And why would it catch on? Like people are going to be talking about plots. Like, and like plots is probably going to become this not even just a word for um, like where you set up farms. But I think it. Like in my head, it's a way a word that where the refugees and stuff like start calling their homes. Like this is my plot. I'm actually gonna discard a card right now because I think that's funny. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to I'm gonna discard the future card that I might have wanted to use, but I like the idea of a slang term that comes along with plots. Is you know how people say this this is my lot in life. Like, this is my plot in life is going to become, <laughs> like, maybe this is what, like, home kind of situation. Now yeah, that go I ahead. think about it, since the, since the people are, are oftentimes working at plots, why not call it the dig? Oftentimes, because working a plot requires a bit of digging. Absolutely, yeah. Um, work can just be called, like, do it, just... Doing the dig or back to the hole situation and like, yeah, yeah, I like that. We can, um, they'll be able to catch on, especially with like the diggy hole situation. <laughs> like, no, it all it all works. Wow, like, I just made we just made a, a call back to last season. For sure. All right. Yeah, I like that. I like that quite a bit, right? All right. Add that, like, and you still also. Still on a deeply personal level, digging puns hurt me. <laughs> Sorry, as me. <laughs> it's fine. It's a good choice. Yeah, it's real good. Like and like. Oh, um, it me. It's a good choice. I don't have any more cards to discard, so I can't even like. I can't even like add more to it. But like, yeah, that, that's something we can really work with. I feel like. What you got, Lore? Well, I got money. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. Which, uh, for me, the word is going to be favors. Favors? Yeah, because one of the things that comes about, and like a favor could be, I mean, it could be cur actual currency, it could be the gold, or it could just, you know, doing actual favors, because that's something everyone is familiar with. So a favor is the currency. It could be you you pay them, but a lot of people, after the shield goes up, may feel like, well, this money isn't really worth it because we can't get anything from outside. We have to do with what we have here. So what's the point of getting more money from someone when you could ask them to do something for you or like say once uh once the plots get going and there is a different variety growing in each plots trading favors could be trading produce from your plot for produce from someone else's plot yeah or help like working up you know yeah I, I like it all right Oh, and if anybody has a card in their hand that says action, and you're reading those, you can play those at any time and do whatever that action says. I had an action last time, but I didn't have a thing to do with it. I just wanted to, like, put slang on plots and... Yes. Alright, so, excellent. So we know, we know what money's called. Money's called favors. And like it's it's probably gonna start off as like favors, but then like once we start basically printing money again, they'll just call like a bill a favor or a coin a favor maybe. That that's in the future. That's not right yet. Yeah. That's not yet. Eventually, one day. <laughs>
But Maybe. eventually. All right, Pim. All right, so my first question before I pick mine is, does it have to be just a word or can it be a phrase? It can be a phrase. A phrase is perfectly fine. Okay. Because I like this one. So I'm going to play Luck. Boop. So the phrase I want for like when good luck is needed most, I want it to be may the captain have eaten her shrimp today. Or if there is good luck, like something awesome happened and be like, ah, oh, captain must ate her shrimp today. I like that quite a bit. Um, I think I don't I don't have a card to discard to do this, but I think that Captain Shrimp becoming like Jesus Christ is a very fun thing. It's a like, Captain Shrimp. You know what's funny, Alan? I was kind of thinking the same thing. <laughs> and I have a card to discard. Because I was going to do that anyway. A absolutely. Gladly discard a card. Goodbye, death. Oh, no. Now we don't know what we're going to call death. <laughs> Okay, so Jesus Christ is now Captain Shrimp. Okay. The, the tricky thing is, I'm gonna have to remember this. <laughs> I'm writing it. I, down. I'm making notes, like yeah, because I I do I really want to use this stuff in future conversate, like in game. Okay, so it is. May the captain have eaten his shrimp. Or if something good had happened, it's just like, ah, oh, the captain ate her shrimp today. And then it's just like... That's very fun. So should that go for citizens or city, do we think? Uh, I actually think that is probably vehicles. Vehicles? Okay. Oh, because it's like a uh, specific... Yeah, if it's like, if it's something you guys specifically say... That is probably either, yeah, it's definitely, it's either vehicles or academy, but, like, I assume that, like, in the academy, it's more teachers. You guys are the ones that have, like, knowledge about the captain. Okay, right. so. And now, so we take, ooh, did not mean to do that. Hopefully I didn't wreck everything. I full on closed like my vol twenty real quick. Hey, all, right, all right. So, and now we're we're getting into age two. In age two, we take um. One of these aspects does not continue to be part of the language. Directly, and we only act on the other two. Which part of the language are we leaving behind? We have one on everything. We have two on city. But before we do that, let me read you the prompt for entering Act 2. The crew must decide. Do they keep their language to themselves and further separate themselves from the, resident of the residents of the Silver Thimble, but making themselves a more tight-knit group, more communal in the HTML sense? Like, so having, being part of the crew means more because it, like, involves your language. Or do you integrate the outsiders w into the way you speak? Maybe losing some of the terms like key components, like the nitty gritty m meanings of it, but allowing the language to grow and be used throughout the entire city. Like diluted a little bit, but like have be more inclusive or like keep yourselves like your crew, the crew to themselves. Separate yourselves from the city. I feel like, especially, like, with the resource, we should try to include them. Probably yeah, the I'm uh, favorable option. Sure. Alright, so... Which, which one do we not want to bring into the, um... Act two. Do we leave the vehicles out? Do we leave the um city out, or do we leave the academy out? I feel like you gotta bring the um city in because of what you just chose. I 
hate so to does say the this, language get away from I... the vehicles or the academy? Say academy. I'd say academy. Okay. Okay. Academy. Yeah. Academy. Deuces, <laughs> nerds. Let me. So we're being inclusive, so I mean, the citizens didn't go to the academy. That's fair. So it would yeah. make it makes sense for it to turn away from the academy-based language. I am going to hide this and show deck two. I have no cards, so I have to deal myself three cards. Um, Ray has two, so I will deal him one card. Uh, Carrie, you still have two as well. And Sparkly, you also have two, correct? And it's... Yes. And Esme yeah. has one, so I will deal her two cards as well. So I have a quick question. Yeah. If at any time while we're playing, can we change aspects that we identify with, or, or are they just set in stone? I I would say we, we're, um, we're good to change aspects that we identify with. Like, normally, I don't think you can, but I think it's fine. Yeah. Okay, okay. Let me look. I'm looking at my cards right now. All right, I'm going to I'm going to put up all three of my things and I'm going to ask the chat for help. All right, oh, so dear. I I have vice I have, um, no, yeah, I just, just two of them will go up because the third one's an action. So I have vice and I have new ritual. I didn't want to touch it because I didn't know if Thinker was going to move it, but. I wasn't sure if you wanted me to actually like, put all of these like on, but I can do. We just pick them between these two. Yeah, just those two. I like how the word vehicles just... All of the words just stick around. They're all on the top layer. It's just like I can't do anything about it. Like, I'm playing the citizen. Um, so based on, um, it's like I'm leaning something, basing on the fact that digging is, like, the dig is work, and plots are, like, um, what, what would we call the communal, like, basically, what if, what if it was, like, low on food, so... We know we're, we're going to be low on food, so instead of, like, making just lavish dinners, we are basically stone souping this. And, like, every night, like, there's, like, like not feeding times, that sounds terrible, but basically, there are scheduled meals. What are these scheduled meals called? Wait. Hey. Oh god, I just in my head and like don't take this like I shortened rations into rats. Cuz if you're really stone soup in this that I mean that's the only thing I could really like oh like rationing rash rats. Oh or okay. Slop. Uh, slops slops and rats those both kind of imply that um that the city like the citizens aren't happy with this. Like both of those like like, is the daily ritual, um, they're, like, scraping the rats, is just, like, scraping the inside of the pot to get everything that you can out of it. That actually makes sense. I mean, it's just, like, if we want to do that, like, we can do it like that, but it does, like, kind of imply that the um, people of the city do not like these daily meals.
Yeah, I agree with uh, Kawari in the chat. It's like, it can never really be happening with rationing. Everyone's gonna hate it at some point. The daily rind is... <laughs> <laughs> That one actually is not too bad, the daily rind. It's like everybody just gets it. Yeah, like what if with every meal you get a lemon wet with it? Like maybe like sometimes it's really delicious garlic soup that you like get to spritz a little bit of lemon on top. But sometimes it's delicious, but like it's not super filling all day. So like people are walking around chewing on. Love it. Right, yeah, also, the also the daily rind sounds like the daily grind, so it's the rind you get after the grind. <laughs> right? It's just like <laughs> you like you go do your digging on your plot, and then like you go and you stop for lunch, and it's just like you eat your lunch, but then you bring back like you ha just have like a hunk of lemon that you've been eating all day. Yeah, okay. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it does. I am. that card back so yeah like the daily rind is just the it's city um and it's just the ritual of like going and grabbing that and then like the i think it's a, like a workers thing like if you're like a blue collar worker in the city you are seen all the time like chewing on a lemon rind i'm good with it You're up, Sparkly. Uh. So, I have an action card. Sure. I want to. Uh, it's hyperbole. <laughs> so I really want to make the 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 good luck phrase like, like even more pack a punch to the citizens. Like I feel like there there would there would have been a situation that you know we thought oh everything's gonna go to shit like or either like our water supply was about to get ruined or like something was or like I guess like let's say like a small disease broke out in some of the crops but like we took but the crew managed to take care of it and so it's like uh, the captain really ate her shrimp today became like a thing that we were all like saying at the end when we resolved the issue. <laughs> it could. I, yeah, I mean, what if it's, like, something like, because we all heard Joust all the time last season say by the cosmos. Yeah. Like, and what if it's, like, some derivation of that? Like, it's by the captain. Yeah. Like, when something goes great. Or it's, like, or it's all, like, by the captain, like, for shock. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. That, that is really cool. It's, like, shortened it. Yeah, it's just like, now it's, oh, uh, and you're saying that moves on into the city because, like, the captain does something that helps the city. Yeah. We haven't been using these in sentences and in conversations for a bit, but I still feel like we're doing an okay job with it. So. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, a little ad. Uh, what phrase, like, I, I said the by the captain thing, but, like, it doesn't have to be that, like, um, just because I said it, like, um. Mm -hmm. So, like, if the, if may the captain eat her shrimp is the long form version, and captain's shrimp is basically, like, Jesus Christ, um, mm -hmm. what is, I guess, I guess I'm asking, what is the fuck yeah version of that? I feel like I want to I want to include the word shrimp in it. Ugh. Scramp. Just scramp. Scramp. <laughs> feel like. <laughs> did Did you guys just want scramp? Yeah. Scramp. 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 Scrap biscuits. Because scrap could also be also sounds like something you can yell at when you're really frustrated. You're just like scrap. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Uh, quick question. Yeah. 
Did you say we could play actions at any time? Yep, you can play the actions at any time. Okay, cool. It's not for this one, but it's for the last one for the Daily Rind. Yeah, go ahead. action, uh, which is a subgroup synonym. So the like the group in the city that people are used to always seeing walking around chewing their rinds become known as rinders. Rinders. Like, yeah. like, because I pitched them as like the blue collar worker situation. So like we're we talking like construction workers and like my mice. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, and th those are just rinders now. Yeah, and yeah. they've like they've sort of like self-identified because they're used to if they don't necessarily like work in the same area as another person that's commonly around with a rind, they still identify as rinders together as like kind of like a union. Okay. Okay. Bad news. We formed a union and nobody played that bounty card. <laughs> Did you see that coming? Did you chat? <laughs> oh, I wanted I wanted to ask before my my turn was like officially over over. No, you can't that complete isn't over because like you that's just oh. an action one and we can go. I wanted to change the aspect that one of the aspects that I identify with uh, from academy over to the citizens. I wanted to switch it. Okay. They're really nice. getting into those communal plots. Yeah, it's all like, oh, I like these guys better. I was worried for a second. <laughs> it's like, you know, honestly, yeah, I, I should have, I should have seen the unionizing coming from me of all people, and just preemptively played the card, and then I didn't even think about it. <laughs> well, bum bum bum, whack whack, dun dun dun. But yeah, um, Sparkly, you can still put a word down. Like you oh. still have that. Oh. You don't have to. We could. You could pass on it if you don't want them any more pressure. It's like it's like I have an idea, but it's like. Okay, no, no, we'll go. We'll continue going. Continue going. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> All right, Zach. Now, what you got for us? Okay. Let's see, so I can play anything from age one or age two, right? Yep. But you can only play it on the city or the vehicles we have left the academy behind. Uh, well, I'm going to play one on vehicles. Bad what? omen. Alright, what's the word for... A bad omen for the um for either the sub or the Yeah, the sub or the airship. Rotten shrimp. Rotten yeah. shrimp? Is yeah. like hmm. To add on to the whole Captain Shrimp thing. Oh yeah, totally. Um And, um, let's use it in a conversation. So, Tattoo's standing out, um, trying to, like, doing his best to look through the shield. And it's just like, I like, can't see a thing. It's just like, this must be, and, like, would he then say, like, this is rotten shrimp? Yes. I'm going to discard a card to add the slang. Oh wait, no wait, no no no. Never mind. So uh so you've got that happening. And like rotten shrimp and um Then the captain arrives and adds shrimp wins. <laughs> the, the word right the words right and shrimp have just become one have just become shrimp winds it's the one like you just smell something fishy in the air when something's up um but yeah we have to like try to get a, a little bit away from like focusing on the captain and um this is fine this is fine i'm not like doing a like like that that's absolutely fine let's 
try not to talk about shrimp or the captain for the next friend ones though okay that no big deal no that's yeah absolutely fine because what if this oh no it's, it's fine because it's fine if the new world doesn't have shrimp and shrimp wins because this is you guys' language So, let me... Oh, and that is going to vehicles, you said. Yep. Shrink these down. Bad Omen. And then Evolved Bad Omen. Alright. What you got for us, Lore? I have an expletive. Okay, what's a what's an expletive? Uh, it's gonna be the the word is gonna be rust. Because since we're stuck in the dome and we can't get more resources from outside if something is rusting, uh, it's getting ruined. It's going bad. So anytime you're you're upset. You know, Russ, take it. Or whatever, you you know, you curse someone out, say, you know, may your tools rust or whatever. Okay, yeah. Um, and it's definitely, like, part of the fact that you and Carrie own a um, mech. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, it works for all those things. So it's, we're attaching that to city, correct? Or is it going to be like, a vehicle thing? I feel like it'd be more common in the city, since the vehicles aren't as used right now. Yeah, they're most certainly not. Like, they're there, the crews are living on them, but, like, most of the work and most of the stuff happening is in and around the city. Oh, do we think that the crews are living on the on their ships they're not living in their apartments has, uh, has the crew like... given up apartments for um for people like for the refugees and stuff i feel like some of the crew definitely would oh okay yeah um, um i mean you could fit like five families in my penthouse so i guess that yeah nice Um, Lord asks, what apartments? I know it's tree destroyed, like, one set of apartments, but there's definitely more. Like, you guys, like, yeah, Academy dorms and, like, whatever leftover ones. Did the hotel survive? The hotel is not in the city. Oh, then I don't even live in my own apartment. Like, I'm um, in a gutter. I used to got the pirate you ship probably... and the submarine and the airship. Plus yeah. the fish tinger building, which has oh, yeah, lots of space. Oh yeah, I just sleep in my own office. <laughs> yeah. There we go. I sleep in my office. <laughs> yeah, Lori would go back to the airship and give up her office space to like anyone that needed a space, to someone that needed a space to stay. Oh, it's a, so um, that like, was that was I guess my next question. You think um, fish tinger industries is actually down right now, not building anything to specifically like provide housing? I think housing and like a little bit of work on like the the exosuits rather than full mechs for the sake of making it easier to you know work the plots or do any of the repairs that need to get done still that we can do while we're in the bubble. I agree. Yeah, I would say that we at least have the workshop still open so we can work on some stuff that will help rebuild the city or build yep. new housing. And I'm going to have like. I'd say 30 of the mice workers living with me in my office and we just have like not a bunk bed situation but it's like bunk hammocks. <laughs> I was I was going to say where I where where Malone rests specifically is in the airship infirmary in the corner like one of those display skeletons you would see in a in a science classroom <laughs> just like at, just uh, whatever she's tired. <laughs> I like, Prophecy says, oh yeah, there's plenty of room in the library as well. I don't think you all would let 
anybody into the library right now based on the fact that the library still has telescopes up and down but like it is also a tree right now like it is the tree goes up and down too so maybe like it doesn't have like a trunk so much as it's just like a um terrace like a rose terrace situation but instead of thorns and flowers it's all speakers and crystals so like until you guys have like a full a better understanding of it maybe i'm wrong maybe you do just like put like line people up in there so i didn't write it down and then my brain completely blanked what was the expletive rust rust, rust. dig it all right pim what do you got all right so um shall i play my word or my action first does it matter doesn't matter. All right. So I would like to use technology. Boop. So for technology gone wrong, something's like going haywire. I am going to play that on the vehicles. Um, and I would like it to literally, since like the, the mice work on the ships and the mice work on like fish tinger and everything like that, if something goes wrong or something's malfunctioning, I want it to be the phrase, there's a mouse in the manifold. I actually like that one. Thank you. Since Alan apparently doesn't. <laughs> Reading like six other things. All right. Um. <laughs> mouse in the manifold and that is does that become citywide or is it like vehicle specific I guess it could be for like any technology um, but I know that the mice specifically do like a lot of the work on, on the, the ships and the engine room and um, at fish tinger for that stuff so I mean would that make it the city if we're like including the fish tinger aspect of it yeah, I mean, we can we can lump fish tinger in like we can start lumping fish tinger in with vehicles for sure. Like if that's the direction or, uh, we Oh go ahead. I was gonna say I mean like if fish tinger counts as city, then Normally I would think it did, but like if you want it to be more focused on like a specific group of people who work on the ships use this term. Like is that the way that you know that they are a fish tinger like like, is that a joke that just you guys would get? Like, it can be explained to other people, but they get it right away. I would say anybody that, you know, like, works with the ships or fish tinger. Okay, yeah, I'm going to put that in vehicle then. Okay. And then when you're done with that... Because the people working the plots might not even know about, like, Manifold or have any idea. It's just like, what do we know about Max? We're just harvesting this wheat. <laughs> I'm just over here trying to live my life. All right, and then, let's see. Um, I was going to do this. I'm going to hang on to it, actually. I'm going to wait. Never mind. I am not going to play my action yet. My turn is clear. All right. So now we're moving on to age three. Um. So what do I got? Like this is the the third age. We move one more thing into it. Um, and the other two are left behind. So we have to decide which aspect we're going to bring in, and it's um. This starts off as the prompt is. The shields will begin coming down shortly. Uh, everybody has been warned when the shields will come down and we're about to see the world for the first time. Do we, like... like oh, sorry. The crew dis uh, like solidifies their language and like tries to like come up with the preferred terms. Like, these are what we should say. Kind of like... Like this is proper English situation. Like it's kinda it's kinda gross. Like do you decide that 
what you guys should say and what language should be left behind. Or do you guys just, like, go full, like, does the crew and the citizens get, like, a reputation for being saying whatever's on their mind? And, like, not, like, swearing constantly, but kind of. Like, do you be, like, do you think the language evolves in the direction that becomes, like, oh, the prim and proper, the kind of snobby, the way that they talk? Or is it more, these people talk, like, very piratey? Or is it somewhere in between? I think it'd be so, somewhere in between. Like, yeah. being in the relative close, close quarters, like, we'd get comfortable, but I know that some people would be intent on hanging on to, like, a little bit of the vestiges of the past of the of the prim and proper. Yep. I am inclined to agree. Yeah. To kind of, like, blend together. I also feel the same way. Like, God damn it! What, what? Alright, so we are going like that. And how many cards does everybody have? I have uh, two. One. So I will give two to... Oh, Carrie, okay, you did not play that one. You you started to, but then you didn't, correct? Correct, I, I have two left. Right. Hide the deck. And then play the age three deck. So, it is two for me and Esme, because we just like making slang. Pim and pop, uh, pim and proper. That's that's fine. That's cute. <laughs> and then deal one to Ray and Sparkly. And one to Carrie as well. Yes, she doesn't get one though. She's grounded. She knows what she did. Oh. I'll go sit in my room. Oh. What do I got? I'm already grounded. Okay, I I like that. Oh, good. Alright, so mine, and again, I'm going to ask the chat for help on this one. Um, It is Unity saying. Like, what does... What is said that, like... It's just like, it's going to get better. Oh, sorry, sorry. Before we do that, like, are we moving in vehicles? Or are we moving in city? Like the slang. Is the slang going to be more focused on... Like the submarine and the airship? Or is it going to be more focused on the city? The silver thimble itself? What do you guys want to do? I feel like the city makes the most sense. Same. I, I, I feel... I agree. Zachna, you good? Yeah. Alright, city it is. Quick, I gotta go die again for like half a minute. Were you good I, when we were saying like that? I'm seeing three of you typing in the shield will drop. And like, that's good, but like, um... The shield dropping might not be good. <laughs> that that is that is the that is the trick. It's just like our and it's like I'm good with going this way with this direction, but it's another saying that does seem like it um pushes the citizens against the crew. And I'm fine going that direction. Pages will turn is pretty good. Ox, look at you. Pages will turn actually sounds like a good idea. Like a I really like good that. one. Yep, yep, I dig that. Pages will turn sounds really good. Yeah, I yeah. Um, it, it's not, not. It's just a phrase, not a prophecy. Absolutely. Um, but like that means they are like. 
is they're waiting for those shields to drop. Like, they don't think the shields are protecting them. They think the shields are holding them in place. And it's just like, and again, like, if that's the direction the language is going, it's, um... Ooh, twice is nice. I like that. It's just a page, not the whole story. That one. I'm probably just going to use that in real life. <laughs> 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 I like that. When things are dark, it's the thing we say to remember who we are. I, I like that the pages will turn. It's it's more optimistic. It's like things will continue to go, to move on. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Um. I will go with that then. And that is uh, it's obviously city. All of these have to be like city sayings because we only have the city left. Yeah. I can't see my age three card. Uh, you have to scroll down. I did, and it there's just nothing there. It just this age three deck. Like I can see three cards on like above my character, but when I get to it, I can't see it. Huh. One. We'll give you another card. And hopefully that one works. Did it work? Nope. It did not. Oh, wait, hold on. It, it's it's populating. Okay, I got it. Cool. Can you guys hear me okay? This is freaking me out. I feel like I can hear you. it's yep. going wonky. I can hear you just fine. Okay, good. <laughs> Sorry about that. I, um, yeah, uh, you're up, Sparkly. I I have I have I need help making a word for this, but I have one I I want to uh, use. Sure. So I'm gonna play the card friend. Because I feel like with the relationship that happened between the citizens and the crew helping out, it's like I, I you could say the citizens either came up uh, with a with a word to describe us as friends, and that's the issue I'm having is trying to come up with one. <laughs> but I want to use that. I have an idea. Oh, yeah, like, like, like like as a like would have come about jokingly. If you if you like it, using the term co-pilot, like as a joke to refer to like, you know, say someone from the crew is helping out a citizen and the citizen makes the joke, so it's like, like I guess I'm like your co-pilot now. <laughs> Which I do, I really like that. Um, yeah. What if it, but like, what if it becomes more of a thing? What if like, what if the word crew changes? Like, what if basically everybody that's in this city right now has become the crew? Yeah, like, what if that's the word for friend? Yeah. Or like, yeah. this is my crew can be would refer to this is my group of friends. Yeah. And like, I know that again, I know that's already how things work in the real life, but like. But yeah, like, uh, I think. But keeping on that, like, co-pilot, like, honestly, I, the, the way that you said co-pilot works perfectly for, like, my, like, best friend situation. Yeah. Yeah, I like that a lot. Like, the best friend is, is the co-pilot. 
like co-pilot and crew situation. Yeah, yeah. Instead of instead of like how we use partners in crime, it becomes co-pilots. Yep, we lost someone. I think it was Carrie. Oh no, Carrie! It was Carrie. Carrie! Oh no! She said that her uh, Discord pooped. Sorry, guys. She'll be back. Oh no. Welcome back, Miss Oh God. Okay. Yeah. We were I so lost without you. <laughs> I was trying. It just like it just it just stopped and closed itself. I don't know. Okay. Let's just hope. That <laughs> Huh? <laughs> so for, for zero with chip wins. <laughs> I'm actually gonna play this. Um, so it is. Ooh, I just fucking drag. Is a new source like on this friend thing? I think the way that so it's like we hear a word said that is generally our word, but heard by so, like somebody else says that. I think you hear people in the city referring to each other as crew even though they are not part of the crew like I think you just have like the way that this word comes about mm -hmm. as it um is that situation that like people are just using this and it's just like it happens like because you guys like refer to each other as crew so much that they start referring to themselves as crew. I am on my phone. Oh, well. Because I don't, I think there's just full blown internet issues. I think the internet just like crashed. So I am now using data and we'll see if it comes back up. I'm so sorry. I am trying to sort out the problem. We have added the word for friend, it, like the word for best friend is co-pilot, and the word for like a group of friends is like a crew. Cute! Right. And what you got, Zachna? Uh, let's see. Now this one I may need a little bit of help with. Symbol of hope. Okay, so what is our word for something that gives us hope? Hmm. Is it? Is it bad if I want to say coffee? <laughs> I, the coffee thing only really gets a very yeah. very narrow view. Yeah, it's a very narrow view. My brain immediately was like yeah. that. Was like, feels that quite fit, but. What if it has something to do with our new like telescopic tower or like the word trees or something that we've always seen as like a symbol of hope? Something that would have to do with the city and not just the crew. Ooh, taken from from kind of what like Twy and Crom said in chat, like the winds in the branches or something, or like growing branches, whatever. I do like, like where the roots are the past, the branches are like the future. I do like that one though. Wind in the branches. I was thinking, like, maybe, or or possibly even, like, like, if roots are in the past, like, also, like, a uh, sapling or seedlings. That's, that's a sign of new hope. That could be. Your budding branch, like Twy just put in the... Yeah, budding chat. branch, yeah. Yeah, I like the budding branch thing. Let's see. Yeah, I think budding branch will would be the symbol of hope. 
So is this supposed to be we have to turn it into a phrase? I do not believe so. Um. Do, do, do. A moment of hope in the dark. Um. No, it doesn't have to put, necessarily be a phrase, but like, um. But so, like, budding branch, is that, like, that's yeah. what we land in? Okay. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, because the short form, the short version of it could also just be budding, like, because that would happen, too, with, like, the plots when we're growing food and stuff. So. Oh, yeah, city. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that works fine. And, um, Lord, what you got? brain is drawing a blank. Way to go, brain. Ooh, I think I have something. Yeah, sure. So... Yeah, I think that works. Because all I have are actions. Oh. But, but, to create a word. And so, I'm gonna kind of tie back into, like... While we've been in the dome, the citizens have, like, an idea of what happened around, like, when the dome went up and everything, and they have an idea that, like, um, as rumors spread, so someone's probably heard the crew, someone in the crew talk about what Kay did, um, with, like, the tea time, and refer to it as tea time, and then tea time has become the word, the term for mediation. If a group has conflict, they have to come together and have a tea time. So. I see that. I see what you're saying. The, um. Hmm. The, there's a there's, couple things in the background that there, you don't know about. Yeah, there's some stuff where... I kind of... I, I, I didn't realize my, my mic was muted. I kind of want to add on top of that, if it's possible. So, Alan and I are debating right now because there's actually... I don't know how to use it properly. Oh, I don't... Ooh, I can't say words, but at the same time, I think I might... want to veto that one. Okay, this... Is... In a way, tea time is already a thing. And we're trying to stop confusion just over that specific thing. That is totally fair. If it, I just had some... <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, I had... Uh, can I say what I wanted to do? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I had the card misunderstanding. So, like, there was a misunderstanding from the, I guess, from the citizens about the tea time or something, like, around that. But if you guys want to veto it, I completely understand. <laughs> they are. Would switching so it from tea time to, like, coffee break mitigate? Or do I need to just completely no, that, scrap that? No, it's it literally the word tea time. It's just like tea time. So, it's co instead, it's coffee break. Because... The crew themselves like coffee a lot more than tea, I believe, anyway, as a drink. And so... So, uh, yeah, like, that works. What was like, the misunderstanding gonna be, though? Like, because... This is actually a very fun moment that for me to ask. 
How does everybody see that have having gone? Oh, like, I feel like. Go ahead. I well, it it doesn't. It probably wouldn't have to be everybody, but like I guess there could be like a small section of people who felt like because of that thing that the the conversation that Kay had, it could have been seen as oh, it's it's because of that why we're under the dome, why we're under the, we're under the shields. Oh, that's not a misunderstanding though. Oh, that's an understanding. That's an understanding. Okay, I, I. No, mis- that's that's fine as long as like, is is the misunderstanding the what the crew think? Oh, oh, I don't know if I want to do that because like if it is, if it's everybody outside saw it for what it was like because if everybody outside was actually seeing like her like tea cutting those roots as a good thing, mm-hmm. and then her stopping to have this cup of tea or cup of coffee with K as like and then they saw the roots get super tight and then pull in like did the did the people of um Silver Thimble and the refugees from the rest of the world see what actually was happening instead of the crew who were focused on fighting tea did everybody else would were they paying more attention than you were? Is my question. Oh, that's that's a really good question. And it would definitely sum up a little bit of animosity if people think that the crew is like inherently responsible for this. I have a D two. I think I might just flip it. Should we leave it up to chance? I, I would prefer if you guys make this call. What do you guys think? Why like, over here? Just because the crew is inherently irresponsible. is technically correct. What's that? This is technically correct because the crew didn't fully understand what was happening and they saw it as bad, but like... I think, um, this, the creating a word lurid is going towards like, some people did see it. Not, they didn't all have to see it, but like, a person or a group of people saw it and then they are spreading that story, and that story is getting embellished, and it's just like... like it, I, In my head, at the end of it, it's just like, yeah, can you believe it? Like, and when they were trying to save the world, they sat down, like, they sat her down and, like, had her drink this coffee with them in this little boat. Like, it's like, instead of, like, saving all of us and, like, helping her cut down the things, they were, like, trying to fight her the whole time. Yeah, that's the thing that I'm concerned about because I don't want to turn K into a public enemy. But like, yeah, yeah, I, w- I wouldn't turn her into like I wouldn't turn them. They wouldn't be a public enemy at all. Like I wouldn't do that. I would like the whole. Yeah, but if also if that's the direction we're going with this, I wouldn't have used the create a word card. I would have used a different card as well. I right, that's an action, so you can use a different word too. I mean, a different thing. Yeah, because all I have is action. <laughs> Because if if that is the direction it's going, I would have um, I would have used this instead, rather than just the create a word. As Used on a previously defined word. This word changes. <coughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah. Um, what would you change? Like, which word would you change? I 
don't know anymore. Everything has gone off the rails. I had a thought and it went off the rails. I blame you, Salad. Uh, yes, you had I, had, I wanted to ride a source of chaos. I'm sorry. I mean, you, we could go, like, loop it all the way back on itself and, like, have, like, crew kind of become, like, derogative. Like. That's not what I want. No, that's fine. That's fine if that's not what you want. We don't have to go that way. You want to make people more happy? That's fine, too. Okay, let's make people more happy. Yeah, I was going for, like, a meeting. Go with the original! Go with the original! You had the better idea. Oh, that's why I've got some terrible news about King Reedy and Sabatha. Oh no. <laughs> Guess when neither one of those two were. So what was the plan, Laura? Like, you just want to, like, have a word for, like... Yeah, sort of define, like, a mediation, because one, um... Like... Ah! Words. Brain. Ah. Yeah, to have a, like, phrase when they talk about a mediation, because as it's bound to happen, like, there are going to be some conflicts between the smaller groups in the silver symbol. And so the idea of calling it like, since we nixed the original one, coffee break, in the sense that like, okay, we have to stop, take a break, sit down. And since coffee is, I think, our most scarce resource, it would be like, bring out this one special drink, sit, to like, sit and talk it out, take a coffee break, it's time to sit and talk things out. Yeah, but we can just we can keep it that way so that it's not like hurt, hurting it, for sure. All right. He's back in a corner. Just in a... I can move him. Yeah, just get eat them away. Okay. It's weird that you guys can move things, but you can't like shrink them. I can shrink things. Alright, Pim, what, what's your last card going to be played? So I only have one word card left, and I hate it. So um, I do have an action card that I was thinking about using. Um, and... Okay, it worked. Yay, me! Go, computer. <laughs> so, it's the antonym, um, and it is the opposite meets. Um, so, in defining something, we also must consider its opposite. Define a word opposite to one already defined. Um, so, I would like to do, um, like, the, the BFF thing, the co-pilot. Okay. Like, so if you, like, really hate somebody... I would like to refer to them as lippish. Like that lippish bastard over there. Okay, I see it. Yeah, so it's like somebody really hate, you would refer to them as lippish. Alright. My pen is, uh, trying to kill me. Well, you knew it would end this way. 
Bye, everyone. Alright, and it's like now we've moved into Act 3, and as Act 3 starts, the the shields are going down. Like, Va uh, Vatna and Soki have backed away from the trees, the diligent just focusing AP into them over these past two weeks. And it's just like, as like the shields go down, you see new waters um, well, uh, just rolling southwards past you, like in a flow. You see just some very strong landmarks in the distance. And it's just like, it's a new place. And you see Tattoo and Krieg, um, like boarding up on top of one of the, not one of the, not the sub or the airship. They are getting on top of one of the little fairy ships that you have, not little fairy ships, but the farriers that you have specifically so they can go to the secret recipe and bring back as much as many supplies as possible like this is the first mission leaving this thing and as we exit age three what we each need to think of like what word do we think is like what word or phrase do you think is going to like catch on in the outside world like if something begins to be said anywhere else what do you think it'll be and you guys can agree on more than one thing and that'll just make it like more of a thing or what would become solidified in here to the civilian as the civilians the citizens i personally feel like um like the dig is going to like stick with them as like what they say when they get up like off to the dig and like phrases like that will continue on But we don't have to take this in turns. You guys can say whatever you want, whenever you. I think, I think the dig and the rinders is probably going to be some of the biggest since they're related to each other. Especially when they have to go off to work, like you were saying. Dig in favor too. Yeah, Zero's right about that. Yeah, I I agree on favors. I think. Yeah, I think yeah, favors. Favors. Is good. favors is gonna stick because it's also something that like if you know when if or when one of the crew says it outside of the th silver thimble while we're exploring while it may not carry the exact same meaning to someone else they'll have an idea of what it could mean it'll be close enough in their understanding colloquially to what we could have meant like show me the favors i'm mm -hmm. gonna need favors I, I like favors, honestly. I, I think that it might yeah. be one of my favorites in here. Yeah, I agree. Agreed. Alright, um, let's see here. And yeah, that is... That is dialect. I wish I had more of the map to show you guys just yet. We got, we got the, like, thing done today. Well, the, like, approval, approve on, like, yeah, how it looks like, at the end. But The, like, low-res version that we could, like, look at, like, mock-up type thing, and it looks amazing! There is a teaser of it on Twitter. Ox. It's so good. Cool your jets. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that is, that is dialect, and like I said, it's a pretty short game, um... There's just three turns go around, and we have made a language, and then it... And, like, the point of this one is, like, some of these words are going to start dying. Like, that is, um... It's about forming a language and how it dies. So, like, some of these are going to be, like, commonplace. But then, like, as the shield goes down, some of these words just don't get used anymore. Hopefully, uh, some people other than me wrote those down. I did. <laughs> uh, so maybe throw them in the Discord so everyone can see them and like play with them, work them in wherever feels good. That's true. Nobody, nobody did say Dingus. It's a great and terrible shame. <laughs> it's <is> indeed. <laughs> so tomorrow uh, is part one of a two-part apocalypse world saga where we get to see the bunny apprentices and uh yeah to see what see what they're up to out in space i'm sure they're fine 
you are assuming far too much <laughs> prophecy. Like, my <laughs> notes... <laughs> that they're not particularly great. <laughs> and, Space like... Bunnies. The... Like, Sparkly played the Oracle, and... She said that the world and the city was going to cause the ruin, and, like, I was trying to lean into that with the civil unrest. And I think it, I'm thinking it's holding true. I think that we're going to start at a place where not everybody in the city is particularly happy yes. with the way that the city Hydra works. Played this card. Or it has worked out. Now, tomorrow we have um, Carrie's plan, Corey's plan, uh, Professor Winter's playing, and Akana are playing. And that is so excited! It's gonna be ridiculous. No it's so ridiculous. Really that game is so it. ridiculous. I've been practicing my voice. I'm very excited. Well, thank you everybody for coming out. That was the end of this game. Um. Yeah. I would. I can't wait to actually start the real season mm -hmm. next Saturday. I'm so excited. Cause... It's a week from tomorrow. I did not repost the colored version of the teaser anywhere. Enjoy. <laughs> so we'll see you all tomorrow. Uh, bye forever. Goodbye. <laughs>